All right, let's talk about ProPresenter 7. So in this video, uh, we're just going to do a really quick overview of the layout of the UI or the interface in ProPresenter 7 in the hopes that you could use this to send to someone who's new who's going to start using ProPresenter. And maybe that person has never even heard of it and definitely never seen it. And so hopefully after they watch this video, when they show up uh, to your church or to your service or gathering and they open the, the program, they'll at least know their way around a little bit. So let's just dive right in. And if we look at the, the ProPresenter window here, um, it has a basic layout um, and columns. The left column, the big center portion, and then the right column. And if, uh, if you open ProPresenter and you don't have any of this content and it just looks empty, you can go to the window button, welcome to ProPresenter, go over to the last page of this, hit continue a few times, and then download the sample content. It'll download and import um, basically what you see here, this, this playlist and some sample media in the bottom. So that way you can at least have some, some slides to look at. If we start in the top left, um, this left slide side of the of the screen is really like your navigation pane and so this is where you're going to select your libraries your playlists the things that you want to edit or to manipulate or the things you want to use um, to show out on your outputs um, the library is just how you organize your content and you can use that in you can have different libraries for different types of content like songs um, sermon graphics sermon notes um, announcements things like that or you could have different libraries for different uh, services or gatherings. So if you have, you know, in that in that same computer maybe or that same room, you have Sunday morning gatherings that could be its own library. Sunday night could be a library. Uh, youth events on Wednesday could be a library. That that's really up to you. It's it essentially is just a way to organize your footage. And each one of these actually, um, whenever you create a new library, actually just in Finder. Uh, Wherever you have this stuff saved, by default, it goes Documents, ProPresenter, and then there's a folder called Libraries. And so each one of these represents a folder here. And similar, similarly, when I open this folder, here's all the songs in that library. And that looks exactly the same as when I click over here on that one. Those are all those songs. So that's really just a referencing um, your hard disk. And that's the same on Mac or Windows. So decide how you want to organize your, your libraries. Um, and then as you select them, up here in the top, you'll see in the bottom, the detail view changes. So as I select one, I see what is in that library. When I go to songs, then I can scroll through all those songs that I have on uh, on my computer. Playlist is how you organize your songs or your media or, your media or um, sermon graphics or any kind of slide decks. It's how you organize it into a service flow or in, into a playlist that you want to quickly access. So I would think of playlists as you know, it's it's a particular Sunday morning. You may have a new playlist every week or for every event you do. Um, if you're familiar with Planning Center, this would be like the flow of your Planning Center um, is how I would set up a playlist. And I can take uh, documents or presentations from any of these libraries and put them in a playlist um, as well as different media items. If you have like sermon bumpers or announcement videos or any kind of video you want to play from ProPresenter, that can go straight into the playlist. And then you can also divide it up with headers to help keep it organized, like I have here with pre-show, music, presentation. Those can all be named whatever you want to name them. Uh, but the big thing here is this view in the bottom, detail view, as I called it before, changes depending on what I select. So if I'm not seeing what I want to see down here, I need to make sure I'm actually selected on the thing that I want to be looking at. Right below that um, is the media bin. And if you open ProPresenter, you don't see this. If you go to the top right, there's a little icon called and a button called media. I can open and close the media bin um, from that button. So I'm going to open mine for now just so we can talk about the layout. On the left side, it's, it works very similarly to the playlist up top. These are your media playlists. I can have a folder. So I can collapse all this down. Um, so I can have a folder with folders inside of it. And then each one of those folders you know, could have a playlist. So you can use that to organize it the best the, the best way that works for you. Um, and then you know the plus button here is how you can add playlists or add content. You can drag and drop media into um, this area over here, into your media bin from Finder or from anywhere. And it'll directly import um, straight into there. And then I can also drag and drop these and reorder them and move them to different playlists if I want to. Um, all of that is completely customizable to how you know, whatever your work is best for your workflow. But that's the media bin. Right above it, and maybe the biggest portion of the of the of the screen is 
um, is the slide deck. This is what makes ProPresenter ProPresenter. It's the bread and butter. It's the what you see is what you get interface. As I click in any one of these slides, they become my active slide and go to my output. And, and um, I get some feedback with the orange lot, orange rectangle to let me know that that's my active slide. Um, but this is, we actually see your slides and you can um, trigger them to the output. If you're in a different mode, like the edit mode, then this is where you would actually make changes to your slides um, and do all the different fonts and colors and any kind of uh, editing that you want to do to your slides. Over on the right, um, at the top, you get your kind of your preview output. This shows you what you're actually sending to your, to your screens. And depending on what screens you have configured, you can choose which one you want to preview here. And we'll do a whole video on how to set up these screens later. Uh, you can also do clears. So anytime you um, fire any content, it will highlight the layer that it's on. So right now I'm playing content on the slide layer and also on the media layer. And I can clear those individually or I could clear them all at the same time. So clear buttons here are there for you. Uh, if you play a video, then right below that, you've got the, the, pl the progress bar. So you've got the name of the video. You can pause, play it. You can skip ahead 15 seconds. Um, you can also skip, you know, you can decide, hey, I want to go to the last 10 seconds and just click that and it'll scrub quickly to the last 10 seconds and keep playing. So there's your transport control bar. And then right below that um, is another area that can change depending on what you want it to be. So it can be the audio bin, which is where you would create audio playlists for pre-show, maybe pre-show walk-in music. You can play that straight from ProPresenter and organize it here like you would any other media player. You can uh, control your stage display screens. So if you have, right now I have two screens connected. So I have two uh, screens populated here. I can choose straight from the main interface what layout I want to be on that stage display quickly. I can go to my timers and set them up and run them straight from this area without having to change my view. Um, same for messages, props, and then also the new feature called macros where you can do a bunch of button, button presses with the click of one button once you set it up. So uh, this is a really cool new feature of how to, how to get all your different intricate show controls right there in one quick, easy to access spot. So that's an overall overflow, really high level, just, as, just to understand what you're looking at when you sit down at ProPresenter. And then in later videos, we're going to dive deep into each one of these um, to get a really good, uh, good understanding of how each, each one of them work.